Hey guys, welcome to the Goose Gaming. Today I am in the Ishmael V. Tier 5, uh, Russian or Soviet, whichever one you want to say, battleship. And the, this ship is actually kind of neat. It goes along a trend with all the other Russian battleships that they were actually never built. Only the Tier 3 Gangit was actually built. And I think that one, I don't know. Can't be sure, but I think that one participated in the Russian-Japanese War. Speaking of Japanese, run into an Aoba here. And just a d disclaimer, at the end there's big battle or whatever. And I advise when you see the enemy Aoba pop up on my screen, turn down your volume and turn down your brightness. Because, yeah. Also, and especially if you're wearing headphones too, do that. So we push up towards C, also known as Torpedo Alley, because for long range torpors like the Fubuki and the Japanese ships and a couple of the British, they they like to just sit in this area and just launch torps right all the way down. And the Sayoba does just that and actually nails a Nevni or Gnevni. And his smoke, once he smokes up, you'll see it here in a second, there's the smoke, and Seoba makes good play, launching his torpedoes over into that smoke to try to catch the Nevni off guard. So I don't know, I don't think he's, yeah, I don't think he's detected because the Nevni is in his smoke and we haven't fired our guns yet. So, it's kind of surprising, I don't know why the Nevni would smoke up. Like that, that is not a good point. Don't do that. But, yeah. So, yeah, we just move up here. And there's a band, and I think a war spite. That are pushing up with us. No, New Mexico. Baron in New Mexico. That push up with us right about now you see the yeah right there first blood devastating strike on the nevni as he just eats one japanese torpedo not even multiple i fire my first salvo with this broadside in new mexico presenting way too much of a side but it's outside 11 kilometers so i only get two hits one of them is on the gun not doing any damage and the other one's an over pen so i I think, right, yeah, I start to turn in here to try to bow tank these, this Bayern shells because the Bayern has some of the highest caliber guns at tier 5. Besides the Matsu, which has 16 inch guns, the Bayern has 15 inch. Right here, I get three bounces, one over pen and one penetration. That penetration was to the gun incapacitating it. But that's where this thing has its shortcomings with its guns. Its guns are amazing against broadside targets. When you get into a fight with a ship that is not broadside and is bow tanking you, it's really hard to get good damage in this thing. But right here, the Lab Glassonier kind of saves my life as he launches his torpedoes and nails the bear, killing it. So I start to turn to give this New Mexico a broadside. Yeah, so I got all my guns on target to make sure that he couldn't shoot me back and I get the shot off here. Citadel, dead. That is how you do it with the Ishmael. It's a ship like the Colorado. If you have played the Colorado before, you, you play the Ishmael almost the same. You turn in or out, whichever way your guns are facing, because these guns don't traverse well, so you want to keep them on one side of your ship. I speed this area up because nothing happens. More spike just gets detected and absolutely mowed down by light cruisers. But with this ship, you want to keep your guns on one side. And if you see here, once I come around this corner, I notice that my guns will be on the wrong side if I get into an engagement with the rest of the team. They are all over by A. So I lock my guns onto my left side. 
or port side, whichever one you want to call it, if you're very avid about naval, sorry, about naval doctrines and all that. But, yeah, as soon as this war spike dies, I lock it, because there's nothing to do, no, the, he just gets finished off by cruisers firing HE, there's the lock, yeah, this ship is fairly agile though, or agile, uh, sorry about my pronunciation, but, it's fairly agile to turn left or right, if you do so, you should be able to get in or out of situations fairly fast. And like you saw there against the New Mexico, the New Mexico is actually trying to shoot me. His guns weren't reloaded yet, and I was able to swing my ship out and get my shot off, and I was confident about that. Because if I wasn't confident, I would have done what I did to the Bayern and just kept bow tanking or angling. That one, I gave him a full broadside in order to get my guns on, around and on target faster. Yeah, so... I, I just fast forwarded this part because it's boring, nothing really happens, there's some shots at people, but I'm not yet in the engagement, the Lac La Seigneur on my team, like I fire off at the Nuremberg and I don't do any damage, I just shoot over him, there, but yeah, but right here our teams just meet each other, Be ready, turn down your volume now-ish, and so your ears don't die, and turn down your brightness so then you don't die from that either. And I will not commentate this big battle here, I'll let you watch it and enjoy. <laughs> 